All right, we got some shade up. Um, did this part with injection foam. You can see down in here, there's a little bit of a bulge along it. It won't affect anything as far as the sailing. I should have been watching it a little closer. We got the back section of the patch. I'll actually show you how I use that foam right now to do that. Give me just a second. stuff I'm using on this part is great stuff, injection foam. Oh, I forgot something I need. No. Need this. You know, the great stuff, injection foam, it's actually the same stuff in a different format as Gorilla Glue. Um, the advantage that I found with this right now is I can peel this back a little bit, stick it up under my cloth to where I glued the cloth on, and just... Ah, get a little bit under there. Got it all over myself. I think my nozzle got jammed. And my knife isn't right here either, so. Normally I'd just go grab my knife, but I don't want to keep everybody waiting. So we'll see if this works any better. Try not to get this stuff on your fingers. It's a pain to get off. Um, Alright. That's a little better. You don't want to use too much. Um, you want to get it up as far as you can. That's probably more than I needed. We do have a little hole right there. Now, with this, the other thing I'm doing is using a wet rag. A wet rag will actually clean this off while it's still, while it's still drying but it will also help with the adhesion. So you want a damp, just damp rag. You don't want it to be soaking. And then what you do is just work that foam in so that it gets not only into the foam core, but you wanna make sure it coats the fabric that you're using. Seems to be easier to work it downward. Um, the problem that I had with the bulging, you can avoid by continually working it. As you start to see it bulging, you can bring it down. The problem is, is I got preoccupied with something else and wasn't paying attention. As a result, it got a little out of my, got a little out of control. Whoa. And it will foam up really fast. 
If it's coming out quick, that'll require you to do a little more work with pushing it down. A little bit goes quite a ways. But if you keep the rag damp, it'll also help keep your fingers a little bit cleaner. I'm gonna have a couple of spots on this where I might have to rework a little bit more. But that's okay. I'm not too terribly worried. I do have a couple of spots near the, on the other side. And I'm gonna kinda work it from the side. Particularly right along my ridge. Since I actually have a ridge in that spot. It's by no means going to be a perfect fix. It may not look pretty. I might. It just depends on how long I want to take on it. You start to see this white come through. That's actually the part of the polyurethane. You do want some of that to come through. So you get a good, so you get a good waterproofing on this fabric. somewhat of a rim so I can put my so I can put some trim in there hopefully my original trim will fit back on it um, spots where there's no seam I'll have to work around that when I get there you could do this whole thing with Gorilla Glue it would probably be a lot smoother I just happened to have a bunch of this other stuff, so I figured I'd use what I have, which is how I do most of my projects anyways. People that know me kind of know that. People that are new, you'll get it. And that's that. I'll have to work that in a little bit more. As I work that in, it'll get a little better. But you can kind of see how it's coming together there. <laughs> 